Hello, all you aspiring artists out there. Today we get to paint a cute little red squirrel. And we are going to get our Winsor Newton set of 12 paints out and have those ready. Now, I am not a professional watercolor painter by any means, although I enjoy to paint. So if you see me make mistakes, I've never had professional training. So I'm going to go ahead and put water in each of my colors because I never know which one I'm gonna use and I want them all to be ready. And also as I'm doing this, I'm kind of cleaning out any extra paint that might have colored it by accident. And now I'm taking a look at my cute little red squirrel and sort of sketching it. And so when you're doing watercolor painting, it's nice to be able to use a pencil to lay out the forms before you begin to paint and go ahead and find those um, little details here and there that you don't want to forget about like this little guy has kind of like fringy ears and I really liked the bark in this picture it was nice and dark so I just wanted to make sure there's a few things that I don't forget and I kind of struggled with getting the reddish orange color of his fur, the, the darkest dark part of his fur. So I used my orange, my red, and a little bit of my yellow ochre combined, which I think was, it worked pretty well. And the nice thing about watercolor painting is that you can go back and lay on more color if you need to. So I'm, this is the first time I've actually ever done an animal painting tutorial. And I found that it was actually pretty similar to doing a landscape. There's a lot of things that are similar, like putting the darkest darks first and then finding the lightest lights and then going back over and filling in the details. the lightest light but somewhere in between and I'm finding all of those places where I can lay on some of that color um, where it's not going to be too dark and also leaving some white spaces for later on. Now I'm using a very watery version of that color to lay on the lighter tones. And I'm kind of filling in my little squirrel's fluffy tail, his body um, around his cheek and his ears so that we've got our darkest, our medium, and our light all filled in. And now I'm going in to find his little nose, which is a nice dark brown color and laying in some of that right there as a nice contrast. And later on, I'll use my Sharpie marker to give it a little more detail. His eye is closed, and I'm also gonna use my Sharpie marker for that. So it's nice to have all these different um, mixed mediums. I'll also use my gold fine line pen later to give him um, some nice sparkle. N now I'm finding the shadows so he has a little shadow um, between his tail and his body and I'm just using a little bit of my Prussian blue with a little bit of my brown just to give it a, a nice um, contrast and I'm using that same combination 
um, to fill in the tree. And I really like using um, colors actually instead of like paints gray or black to make shadows. I think it's nice to use color whenever possible. And that's kind of been my motto. Um, instead of finding the, the darkest shadow and making that just your grays and blacks, it's always nice to use color instead. And actually, I think I was taught this by Stuart Burton. I'm gonna give him a shout out because he was one of my first painting teachers. And we would do plein air, plein air painting. And that was his claim to fame was always using color whenever possible and that's why I was drawn to him as an artist. Now I'm laying in a little more of that kind of watery brown Prussian blue combo and I'm going to use a little bit of my dark brown to go in and find my little squirrel's mouth and a few little details around his fingers. Here we have the finished watercolored squirrel, which I have used my pencil to go ahead and draw some details. I have a few different Prismacolor pencils. I've used my terracotta pencil. I used my crimson lake. Um, I also used my uh, Spanish orange. And I just gave my little squirrel a few more details. And now here's where I'm gonna lay in my um, my fine line Sharpie marker with some more lines for the, the tree and some lines around my squirrel. And for some finishing touches, I've really liked putting in a dark blue um, background. So I've got my ultramarine and Prussian blue and I mixed the two together. And I started laying in this color and I realized it's not dark enough. I needed my paint gray, which is not in my Winsor Newton set. So I had to go get my other set and um, find my paint gray and mix that in with my ultramarine. Or actually, no, I, I mixed it with my Prussian blue, excuse me. And that was very satisfying. That was actually exactly what I wanted to do. So you'll see me do that in a minute. So here I've got my, my nice dark combination, which I really liked putting that around the edges and leaving the area around my squirrel, sort of a lighter version of that, a more watered down version of that, which um, gave him a more three-dimensional look.
And here we have Mr. Squirrel all ready for the party, except he needs his glam. So I got my gold um, uniball pen and I'm giving him some extra shine and fun and I'm giving him a little more fringe on his tail and um, I'll give him some nice fringy ears and I'm just gonna kind of go in where I think he needs a little definition, texture, um, some more realism and I will use my gold to make that happen. And here's our Mr. Red Squirrel, feeling frisky. <laughs>